Hi there, welcome to the Seaside Lane channel, and welcome to the Chore Motivation Series. Thanks for taking some time to tackle chores with me today. We will beach, Bible, and do laundry together. Hi, I'm Morgan Lane. I'm a happy Floridian, a mama to three little girls, a wife to an incredible firefighter, the author and illustrator of A Little Prayer Devo, an artist, a happy homemaker, and most of all, a big lover of Jesus. My prayer is you'd find encouragement here and join me as we clean our homes together to serve our families, making our hearts and homes a haven. If you have a mountain of laundry, go ahead and grab it and we'll work together to get it all done. I've been sharing little clips of doing my hair and my makeup and getting ready before we jump into the chores and the cleaning because it's just like making your bed. It's one of those little things that can take five minutes to get ready and it makes all the difference in the productivity of your day because you just took the time to get dressed. This habit of getting re ready has morphed over time. At first it was just getting dressed and then I started to wear dresses every day. Then I started to pick out jewelry and put on a little makeup. So over time, I've slowly taught myself how to get ready. This little seashell says, marry me. Fun story that I keep my jewelry in it every day. But about 10 years ago, my husband proposed to me underwater. And this is the scene of a lot of bubbles and a lot of tears and the thumbs up of, yes, I will marry you. And that is how we got engaged. Figured I'd share that tidbit with my ring dish that I use. So we are going to tackle a ton of laundry today. Towels and clothes and everything needs to be folded. But I will tell you to do something that makes it fun. If you're gonna home make, you might as well make it fun. Light a candle that smells lovely. Play your favorite music or playlist. Turn on that audiobook or that podcast that you love to listen to. Or pray for your family members as you fold their clothes. Here I'm going to bring this fun cup of orange water up to my room to stay hydrated. I think I've mentioned in every video just about that you need to go drink water and hydrate because my mom's answer growing up to everything was if you had a headache or an ailment or this or that, she'd say, did you drink enough water? Have you had a glass of water? And that has proved to be some of the very best advice I've ever received. So make sure you hydrate today as you fold your laundry. Here is the mountain that we are going to start with sorting and all got mixed up so I just put baskets out and I'll throw the kids in one, my husband's in one, mine in one, and then make a pile of towels and just sort it first before I begin to fold. As I sort, I want to take you on a little journey of how Seaside Lane started. I was pregnant with our first daughter and I was in art college and we were in our first year of being married and I decided I wanted to own a business that would sell little beachy hand-painted wooden signs at craft fairs. I thought that would be fun to stand at a booth and share my creations with people. And then it morphed into selling those signs on Etsy and I made custom beachy wedding signs. And then I got to a point where I just had so many kids that were young and little and my art brain capacity kind of ended. But then, via Seaside Lane, I was able to publish my little art devotional for Firewives. Yay, done folding, or done sorting, now it's time to start folding the piles. So Bride Behind the Boots is an art-filled devotional that is meant for Firewives to pray for their husbands. And then now, apparently, the Lord has in store for Seaside Lane to be filled with encouraging videos for you and I get to share my art and my Bible pages. The meaning of the name Seaside Lane is because I am a true Florida beach girl. I admit I probably have sandy toes and salty hair most days. I home make, chore, cook, clean, organize, and I do it all so hard and as fast as I can with joy, but I do that so that I can enjoy time in the ocean with my family. The Lane part of Seaside Lane is really just my last name. Our last name is Lane. So put together, Seaside Lane, it kind of sounds like a wonderful little beach street, which it actually does exist in our city. It's like a few minutes north of me, there is a Seaside Lane. So, you know, maybe someday the Lord will have us retire there or something. But 
I just wanted to explain what Seaside Lane was because I've made a handful of these little cleaning videos and I figured it is time to share a bit of the backstory of why it's named Seaside Lane next to my name Morgan Lane. And today's Bible verse is all about the sea. As I hang up this pink rose dress, I will tell you that was the first dress that I put on when I decided to wear dresses for one week straight. That was in May of 2022 last year. That week turned into a month, which turned into multiple months, which turned into now, next month, it'll be a full year of wearing dresses every day. I have found this to be so refreshing and fun, and it just suits me, and I love wearing dresses. So that is the journey. It's only been a year, but I love it, and I could not do a day without a dress. I tackled doing the towels and all my clothes and hung up all my dresses, and I moved on to my husband's while my little one was playing with her puppy dog in the background. Whenever I fold his clothes, I try to think of something that's coming up in his week, and I like to pray for that. So this week I was praying for a training that he had coming up at work, amongst a few other things. Folding our spouse's clothes can be the perfect place of prayer for them. As I finish folding his clothes, I'll share the verse that I'm going to paint in my Bible in a little bit. It is Psalm 104, verse 24 through 25. It says, How many are your works, O Lord? The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, vast and wide, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both great and small. Over the years, I have had a few different of these art Bibles, as you'll see with the pages in them, to do to take notes or prayers or write art. And to my surprise, my new Bible is not filled on all the ocean verses yet. My old Bibles all have jellyfish and waves and sunsets. And if there's a Bible verse about the ocean, it has been painted, drawn on, and colored. So today, you will see that the page is blank when I get to it and I get to paint this verse. Surprisingly, after folding all that laundry, there was still a new load of laundry to be started. My husband sent me this funny thing the other day that said, one day you wake up and you start doing laundry and then you never stop, pretty much until the day that you die. And we thought that was really funny because it is kind of true, especially when you have laundry for little ones since they can't do it yet. The last thing I have to fold is my rags, which I'll take downstairs to the kitchen. But my heart is that I hope and pray that you have felt encouraged watching little clips of me folding that you can fold and serve your family to make your home a haven and a happy place and somewhere fresh and clean. I decided to make a coffee because I was going to jog on the beach and then pick up my kids from school and after that jog I wanted a coffee while I was sitting in the car waiting in line so I made it ahead of time. And there's just something oddly satisfying about watching espresso mix with cream. It just makes me happy. The beach and my coffee and my run were all wonderful. If you can, try to get vitamin D today. Go get in the sunshine, walk through the garden, take off your shoes. It's really good for your heart and soul, I think. This is our little beach. And next I'm going to jump into my Bible. Any beach lover... This is my devotions for the beach. And then it says dot, dot, dot in days when you wish you were there. My husband actually got me this Beach Lovers Devo when we first were married. And it has a sticky note from like 10 years ago that says, Dear love, I love you. You're so beautiful. XOXO on the inside of it. And it makes me smile. But this Devo has amazing little chapters about all different things beachy. From cookouts, to pelicans, to penguins, to hammocks, to volleyball games, to flip-flops, and it's just adorable. So I chose to read one that was called Running on the Beach, which I felt was very fitting because I had just done my run on the beach. The verse that the Devo was talking about was 1 Corinthians 9, 25 through 26. It said, everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. Eva went on to talk about running a race of faith, like running in the sand. And it said, running in the sand, the payoff is worth it. These runners improve their strength and their speed, they experience less impact, and they burn up to 1.6 times more calories per mile. Training on a beach can literally put more spring in your step 
than when you run on a hard surface like asphalt later. It says, otherwise they're putting themselves through a lot of pain for no reason. As you live out your faith, you run your own race. Do you have days when you wonder what's the point? Admit it at times, running the race God set for each of us seems a little more difficult or we want to give in to sin or live mundane lives that are mediocre. Aren't there times when it'd be easier just to go along with the herd or to simply be a spectator? If the race of faith were always easy, everyone would be doing it and sticking with it. There's risks involved when we accept and follow Jesus. Some of us even have to sacrifice our favorite pastimes or possessions as part of the training. But here Paul explains that our race is centered around one goal, and that goal is a life that is pleasing to God. My prayer for you today is that you will run the race of good faith and trust in Him even when it feels like the terrain is rough or circumstances are tricky. That our lives will be a fragrant offering of goodness to our God who has created everything in heaven and earth. The little fish were curiously swimming at my daughters and my feet today. It always makes me appreciate my creator that he has those little fish alive and bubbling, so how much more beautiful are his plans for me and for you, his daughters. He has good plans for us if we trust him and run the race. I'm excited to share more videos tackling one specific chore at a time like this. I hope today you felt encouraged to fold clothes with me. Thank you for all the thumbs up and the comments truly is an encouragement to my heart as I grow and learn in making these little videos and I'm thankful for all who have connected on Facebook and Instagram. I love chatting with you women who love to make your hearts and homes a haven. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye friends. Happy homemaking.